Good afternoon, everyone. Hope everyone is had a good lunch here as we get geared up for this afternoon's NASCAR Cup Series race here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. We have an exciting announcement coming up here with the NASCAR Foundation. I'm going to do a brief introduction and then um, we will roll to um, introductory questions and then we'll go to the media for a couple questions as well. So good afternoon. We want to welcome our guests who are with us here. Nicole Krager with the Executive Director and Vice President of the NASCAR Foundation and Pete Jung, who is NASCAR's Chief Marketing Officer and a board member of the NASCAR Foundation, who are here to officially announce the NASCAR Day give as part of NASCAR's 75th anniversary. Pete, can you tell us a little bit about the give and what it is? Yeah, um, uh, Amanda, it's... Um it's a really, I think, exciting part of the 75th anniversary, um, and uh, it's it's uh, really an opportunity for us to kind of fulfill on, you know, something that is uh, we think very unique and special about uh, about this sport and industry, and that's to raise as much money as possible for you know charity and, and people in need um, in the communities across the country. So you know where where we live and work and certainly race. Um, and so in, uh, uh, in, in the, the third week of May there, second week of May, um, we've got, you know, th this amazing opportunity to raise as much money as a collective industry as possible. Um, this is in partnership, um, of course, with the, the NASCAR Foundation, but also Speedway Motorsports uh, and the Speedway Children's Charity. Um, so just a, a great opportunity. We're really excited about it. I feel like we couldn't, you know, celebrate this milestone being our 75th anniversary without really doing something to give back uh, to, to, to those in need. And can you provide us a little more details on how the give will work? Yeah, so there, there are kind of two components to it. Right now, we're kind of in the, I, I'd call it sort of the first phase, which is getting as many charities as possible registered uh, for the give -thon. Um, And uh, we're, we've got some uh, tremendous momentum, and we has, haven't even officially launched it. Um, but uh, th that's kind of part one. And then as we get closer to the May time frame, we get into kind of the, the, the fundraising uh, moment. So it's going to be a 75-hour, a lot of 75 themes, as, as you'll get throughout the year, but um, 75 hours where we're going to be doing various things to, again, raise as much money as possible. So it's going to uh, commence um, on the, the afternoon of, of Tuesday, April 16th, and then we're going to wrap it up, um, I think, at 8 p.m., um, officially on NASCAR Day, which is the third Friday of every May, and that happens to be um, uh, May 19th this year. So, and it's also really cool. That's the um, the, the Friday uh, going into All Star Weekend at North Wilkesboro. Um, so I think just a, a lot of kind of you know synergies with that kind of throwback moment um, and uh, just kind of bringing it all together. All right, and Nicole, part of one of the initiatives. Um, actually starts this week, which is why we're encouraging nonprofits to sign up. Who qualifies as an eligible organization and how do they register? Well, thanks, Amanda. And just a quick shout out and thank you to Jessica Fickenshire with Speedway Children's Charities, who w wasn't able to be here with us today, but there are compadres in all of this and Speedway Motorsports as well. Um, we are allowing nonprofits in that term you have to be a 501c3 organization um, and you go on to the website which is nascardaygiveathon.org to sign up you get vetted and then each of those nonprofits get their own uh, portal if you will their own giving page and I'm really excited to say that already today, I checked the number this morning, we have 254 nonprofits that have signed up already. Um, and so we think that's only gonna grow between now and May 19th. Actually, you need to be registered by May 1st in order to qualify to be a part of the campaign. And, can, and also part two of this initiative will take place in May, and how can others participate through that? Yeah, so I mean, we, we've got a lot of fun stuff planned, as Pete said. We're going to be doing some matching gifts, so if any of y'all out there can help us get the word out about the give -thon, we are looking for sponsors to help match gifts so that when folks come to the website and make a donation to their favorite charity, we will have funds to match those charities. Who doesn't want a two-for-one? I mean, that's, that's always great. Um, and so I think we've got 
$125,000 raised so far, and we're hoping that that number will go up as well. So as you're telling your story about the Giveathon, it's two parts, as Pete said. Number one, we want to get those charities registered and signed up. And number two, we want to get our NASCAR fans, who we know are the most generous in sports, as well as our NASCAR companies, um, to help us raise money to help others in need. All right, now we'll go to um, the media here for questions. If you have a question, raise your hand. We'll work to get a microphone to you. Some exciting news here with the NASCAR Foundation. Does anyone have a question before we wrap with Nicole and Pete? Okay, we'll start over here. Steve Schweitzer with Alaska Press. So uh, if we know of an organization that um, would uh, benefit from this, um, do you have a uh, press release coming out that we could send them and uh, uh, provide information in terms of how they go about uh, we registering? We do. We do have a press release coming out, and they can always go to the website, nascardaygiveathon.org. They claim their charity, so they just type their 501c3, their EIN number in, and it'll pop up. And I'm happy to say we already have one or two organizations from Alaska that have signed up so far. Awesome. And Steve, that press release just hit everyone's inbox, and we'll be sure to get some printed copies out as well. Any final questions? All right. Well, Nicole, Pete, thank you both for spending some time with us today and a very exciting time coming up here for the give -thon. If anyone else has any questions that you think of later on, please feel free to reach out to our NASCAR communications team, and we'll get you guys in touch with Nicole's team as well. So thank you again.